Hey everyone, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur and digital marketing consultant. And in this video tutorial on outsourcing for freelancers, entrepreneurs, and small business owners, you're going to learn how to start outsourcing your work effectively so you can get more done in less time. And this is the exact same five-step system that we used at our marketing agency to outsource 80% of the work we were doing. And it freed up about 20 hours a week of extra time for us to continue to work to push our business forward, which is why I think outsourcing is so important. It's an integral part of being a freelancer, a entrepreneur, or a small business owner because it gives you more time to focus on those high value priority tasks that are actually gonna push your business and revenue forward. So the first step to understanding how to get started with this process is to actually identify your three to four core tasks. And so these are three to four tasks that under no circumstances, no matter how big your budget got, no matter how big your business became, you would never outsource. And I know this seems a little counterintuitive, but as we go through this process, you're gonna see that when it comes to learning how to start outsourcing, it's much more about you and your energy and your current workload than it is about trying to scale the business in the beginning. Because really the point is, as the business owner, as the master and commander of your ship, or if you're just a freelancer and you're trying to get more time, it is really important that you focus on the core tasks of what's gonna push your business forward. So these Tasks could be things like product creation, servicing high value clients, directly related to revenue generating activities. And so once you've done this, you're ready for step number two, which is decide whether or not you're gonna be outsourcing client work or you're gonna be outsourcing internal work. So what we did at our marketing agency is we actually started outsourcing all of the internal work first. And in the next step, you'll see how the time value ladder kind of helps you make this decision. But you really wanna on the outset say, hey, are we gonna try and outsource client projects? Or are we gonna try and optimize and outsource what's going on inside of either what you're you're doing or what your internal team is doing or business partner is doing. And that leads me into step number three, and that is the time value ladder. And the whole point of this ladder is to easily identify the low value tasks and the high value tasks. So what you want to do is go through, and obviously you can get more complicated with the different pricing tiers, but we're just going to keep things simple. I want you to come up with three tasks that you would never want to do again for each one of those ladder steps. So you'll have a total of nine tasks that you really just don't enjoy or you never want to do again. And the reason that we're going from what you personally feel like you don't want to do is because of energy management. So when you are a one or two person operation, it's really important to manage your energy so you can be hyper productive throughout the day. So even if you write down a $50 an hour task that only takes you 30 minutes, better to start by outsourcing that than an hour or 90 minute task that you, you know, you really like, or it's just, Eh, kind of that's okay and that's just out of research on productivity and energy oscillations throughout the day you definitely want to get those things that you really don't like off your plate because that's going to help you emotionally and it's also going to just give you more energy so you can stay in flow throughout the day and not have a dreaded task because we all have those tasks that we really don't like so once you've gone through that value ladder you're going to want to go into the next step and that is considering your budget now, obviously, the higher value tasks are going to cost more in terms of hiring someone to take over those tasks. And with your budget, one of the things you can think about is you can actually hire a $10 or $50 an hour person to do $100 or $200 an hour work. And that just has to do with training. So one of the things we did, because we were on a very constricted budget, is we chose a bunch of $10 and $50 an hour tasks, and we actually went and documented what we did. We made a bunch of tutorial videos. That way, we could hire someone who had a lower skill set and train them to do something at a higher skill set. And so that's just one way you can kind of stretch a budget that's very, very tight. One of the other things things you want to keep in mind with your budget is to make sure that you have some sort of monthly revenue to support the person that you're hiring because there's nothing worse than you know going through that arduous process of hiring someone and then having them to let them go after two or three months because you've run out of cash and we personally had that experience it was really really hard and good people are very very hard to find so once you 
have your budget in place. You can kind of look at those nine different tasks and begin to kind of understand which ones are reasonable at your current point in your business to begin outsourcing. So you want to ask yourself two questions with each one of those nine tasks that you have. If you eliminated some of them in the previous step, because you're like, hey, there's no way our budget will allow for outsourcing that, then go ahead and do it with whatever remaining tasks there are. So the two questions, number one, on a scale of one to 10, how much do I not like doing this task? And then the second question is, if I never had to do this task again, what would I spend more time on or what would I be able to do instead? And this is just a really simple exercise to really open up your mind to what else you can do or what you're missing out on as a result of doing these tasks that are just draining your energy. And so once you have that, you're ready for step number five. And step number five is to choose the first one. So we've gone through this entire process. You have about nine tasks that you know are the ones to outsource based on how they drain your energy levels and you've rated them a scale of one to 10 and hopefully you've gone through and you've begun to see the possibilities of what you're gonna be able to do with all that time that you save as a result of learning how to start outsourcing. And so now it's time to just choose one task. And so that's step five, choose one task. And in the description, I actually have a link to a full playlist that goes through every single step of the process of what it takes to hire on Upwork. If you want to choose something like 99designs or you're going to freelancer or guru, the Upwork process will apply there as well. So in that playlist, you have job description template, hiring scripts, how to interact with freelancers, why you should actually hire more than one freelancer when you're just getting started with outsourcing, and even includes a live case study and breakdown of a real world interview. So now that you've gone through this process, hopefully you have your top one, two, or three tasks that you know, hey, this is what I'm gonna start outsourcing with. And if this still feels daunting, if you're looking at those, those top things that you wanna outsource and you're like, you know what, Jason, I, I, I really don't wanna go through the process of trying to hire someone, then I have a link in the description to a video on how to effectively use Fiverr, which is essentially a micro outsourcing site. So if you're feeling a little overwhelmed right now, go ahead and watch that video and it will walk you through how to use Fiverr and that's kind of like a nice little baby step that you can take before going and actually going through the interview process and hiring someone. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process on what it takes to build a online business from scratch. And of course, hiring, outsourcing, learning how to outsource and growing your team is just a small piece of the bigger puzzle of figuring out how to be successful with a online business. So if you have any questions about outsourcing, go ahead and comment below, hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, keep building the business you love. Take care.